Today, we'll be building a task manager from scratch in Notion. The task manager that I'll be building will be available as a free public template. So if you want to take a look, just head to the video description at the end of the video. The first step is to turn the page to full width, so that we can create like a multi-column dashboard on our desktop. We'll first create the task database. And the first property will be a checkbox to mark our task as completed. Then a date property for when we do our task. And then a project property that will be a relation property. But before that, we'll create the project database, then we can use the relation property. So let's get to that. The first property will be a select property for the project status. We can have status like not started, in progress, and completed. Next, will be a date property. It will name it timeline scenes for projects will include both the start and end date. But that is optional and you can always name any properties to your liking. Then we have a checkbox property for archive, so that we can choose to filter or hide projects from our main dashboard later on. Now is the time to link the two database using the relation property. Once you create a relation property from one end, it will appear on the other database too. I'll just rename the property and input some sample data for more visual understanding and make sure everything works. We'll be creating a subtask by creating a relation property to the task database itself. So we just have to choose the same database and you'll be prompted with two options. We'll go with the first one which creates a parent and child relation. Then I'll rename the property that should appear as parent task. Next. I will create a database view inside each task to show or add any subtask easily. To do so, we'll create a page template for the task database. Page templates are what you can use later for any pages of the database to generate a setup that you customized beforehand. First, we'll copy the link of the task database and open one of the task pages. Click on the create template and then paste the link inside to create a link database view of the task database. I will choose the list view and show the checkbox property. But the important part is that we have to filter by parent task by the name of this page template. We name this page template new task so we will reference the parent task filter to new task. Every time you use this page template for any task, you will create a link database view of the subtask under this parent task. Following that, we'll add another filter to show only task that is unchecked. Then that will be it for the page template for the task database. We now do something similar for the project database. Again, we'll copy the link of the task database and go to create template and paste in the link to create a link database view of the task. The process here is pretty much the same, except that we'll filter by project to show the page template name that is new project. For this page template, I will create two separate views for incomplete and completed tasks respectively. We have now created all the properties we need and the page templates for both task and project database. The next step is to create different views we want to see on our dashboard. We'll turn this original database of both the task and the projects into pages first and use the link database to create the views we need. I will start by creating a multi-column view of the task where I can drag and drop tasks into common dates like today and tomorrow. I will paste the link of the database and create the link database view. Then I will use the empty blocks to create the multi-column view by dragging and dropping to the end of each block. Now that we have set up the three column view, I can just drag and drop the task database into the first one. And I will just duplicate the same database for the next two columns. The 
first column is the today view. So we'll first turn the filter into an advanced filter so that we have the option to choose the date property to today. And also to filter to show only tasks that is still unchecked. The next column will be tomorrow. And again, we'll use the advanced filter and you should see the option to set the date for tomorrow. The last column will again be an advanced filter, but this time we'll have two filters for the date. So that I don't see my tomorrow task repeat and clutter up my next 7 days view. And there we have a multi-column task view. Next, we'll create a section to schedule tasks without a date. We need a list view of the task where the date is empty. And a calendar view of the task database beside it. We create a two column view and drag and drop the database view to the columns. And I will set up the filter to show tasks without a date. Then we can now drag and drop tasks to any day on the calendar to schedule it. You can see the changes reflecting nicely on our three column view above. All we are missing for the task is an inbox to quickly capture down new tasks. We'll create a task database view right at the top of the page. That will be the first thing we see when we assess our notion, whether we are on our desktop or mobile. The filter will show only tasks without both a date or link project. And lastly, we are left with our project database to add to our dashboard. We'll copy the link of the original database and paste it to create the link of the database view. I think I'll choose a gallery view since it'd be nice if we add some page covers to our projects later on. And I will create a two column view here to put the projects database right beside the inbox view. And if you remember, we created an archive property for our projects, so we can filter this database here to show only projects with archive unchecked. And there we go, we built our very own task manager in Notion. You can further customize the properties on any of the database, example including showing the status property for the project's view. There is a lot more you can customize whether it's the layout or the other aesthetics like adding images, color headings, not widget, or weather widget to a dashboard. If you'd like to learn more on building and setting up your own Notion dashboard, be sure to subscribe for more videos coming to this channel. If you'd like to check out this task manager in Notion, just head to the video description for the template link. Thanks for watching and have fun building in Notion.